Okay, let's take the final step and connect our domain to our Shopify store. Now, again, if you bought your domain directly through Shopify, this lecture is not relevant and you can skip it. But for the rest of you, all we need to do is go down to the online store again, go to domains, and click on here on connect existing domain. Now, the first thing you need to do is to enter in the domain that we bought with, in this case, TMD hosting. So mine was Tim's Super deals.com and just simply click on next now here we get to connect your domain you need to log into your provider account okay we've been looking at that in the last lecture that's our client area and change your settings so we'll have a look at those in a second follow the step-by-step -step instructions to get started so let's view those instructions so we've actually done one two three and four already and we need to scroll down to this bit here okay so it says here set up your existing domain to connect to shopify if you purchased your domain through a third party that's us we bought it through tmd then you need to follow then you need to edit the following dns settings okay now there's a few little technical steps here but just follow my lead it's very very straightforward in fact it might look overwhelming but just follow do exactly what i do and you'll be absolutely fine so the first thing we need to do is to sort out what's called this A record, okay? You don't have to worry at all about what that is. But I do want you to copy this, all right? So just basically highlight that, right mouse click and copy. We're gonna need this in a minute. And then the next thing you wanna do is come back to your client area, scroll down and find that C panel button again. And this time go down to this domains section and find the zone editor. So here I've got lots of entries, but you'll only have one, okay? So your domain name here, all I want you to do is to click on a record. The simple thing will pop up here. I want you to put in here your actual domain name. Okay, timssuperdeals.com. And then I want you to paste in that address that I just asked you to copy. And I want you to click on add an a record. So that's that done, nice and easy. And if we go back to the instructions, the next thing was your C name record should point to shops.myshopify.com. So again, I want you to copy this. So just highlight, right mouse click and copy, and then go back to the editor. And this time click on C name record. Now this time put in www in front, okay? So, and then Tim's super deals dot so last time we left the www out we're now putting a www in in this one so that's an important detail and then here paste in that c name shops.myshopify.com and then just click on add a c name record and that's it that's all the technical stuff done now one last step what we do need to do now as you'll see in these instructions it says if we scroll down verify your connection in Shopify. Okay, so that's the last thing we need to do. So to verify the connection, just go back to your Shopify admin system. And here we've got verify connection. This is where we were before with the view instructions, etc. Now we're just gonna click on verify connection. It's gonna work its magic. And there we have it. So we get a confirmation, your domain, timsuperdeals.com was successfully connected. Uh, and we got the details down here about when it happened. Now, this is an important point here. See this, your domain is now pointing to your online store. That's perfect. It can take up to 24 hours for the changes to propagate. Now, this is just something to do with the internet. You don't need to worry about the details. It can take up to 24 hours, but typically it's actually very, very quick. But if you have any problems, again, if you've got any problems at all and it's not showing up after 24 hours, or you're confused with my instructions, or you're confused by Shopify's instructions, then please take advantage of the TMD support as I showed you before, okay? They will be able to do all of this for you if you're the slightest bit confused, okay? So they've got your back, but basically, if you've done all this and you're looking at a screen very similar to mine, you have now fully connected your domain to Shopify, and not only that, you've got email set up in a very professional manner that's gonna really help you build out your brand in the future. Now, of course, as a final step, when we visit timssuperdeals.com, we want to make sure, of course, that our store shows up. So if I go onto the little I here and click, it loads up timssuperdeals.com, but you can see that it's password protected. You might remember some time ago now, I said I would come back to the subject of password protection. So all I want to do now is basically remove password protection so that people can find my store directly. So to do that, just go back to Shopify, Go down to Preferences, scroll down, 
And here where you see enable password, just simply disable that. Click on save. And now let's open up the store again. And this time we are all good, yeah? The whole store is showing on timssuperdeals.com. Fantastic job, guys. We are really, really motoring. I'm very, very excited for you. And I can't wait to show you a bunch more stuff coming up in the rest of this course.